lanterns and a phone. Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what the Lord did for my soul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, the heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who, while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the, to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil, hold on to what is good. Love one another with mutual affections. Anticipate one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the, holy, of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior, I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy, you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. 
among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and Holy One of Israel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who, who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a joy that we can celebrate together this feast of the visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary to St. Elizabeth. It would be hard to find a more perfect example of someone who is both selfless and faithful than our Blessed Mother. Giving an unreserved yes to God's plan. She trusted in the goodness that was promised to the world through her that the Son of God will be with us. And in the midst of her own pregnancy, she traveled across the countryside to visit her own cousin, Elizabeth. Not an easy journey in the best of time, being pregnant herself. But she was carrying the good news that she, want, she wanted to bring to Elizabeth, the Messiah. Mary is a model of faith for all of us. 
can inspire us to strive to do God's will. So we, may, uh, we can ask for her intercession so that we may grow in the courage and be ready to say yes to do God's will whenever that is presented to us and presented to you and me, especially during this pandemic time, that Jesus' presence in us as we have received uh, the Lord in the Eucharist and as we have listened to the word that we may be inspired like Mary to reach out to others and bring the good news to them, even by the smile that we give or words of comfort and why not offer some help to alleviate the burdens of others. Please stand. We now bring our needs to the Heavenly Father, trusting in His loving care and His perfect ways. For our Holy Mother Church, and for the needs of all her children, we pray to the Lord. For leaders of nations, and particularly here in our country, and all whom they serve, may the grace of God lead them in all they say and do, we pray to the Lord. For those struggling to make decisions, may the Holy Spirit help them in seeing clearly the path God invites them to walk, we pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may we be given the courage to follow Christ wherever he leads us. Let we pray to the Lord. For all men and women who served in the military, whom we honor today on this Memorial Day, for the ultimate sacrifice that they have given to keep the the peace and freedom in our country and other places, that they may be received in the fullness of God's kingdom. For them, we pray to the Lord. We also pray for all the mothers whose names we offer on the altar, both living and deceased, as we continue to remember them during this month of May. For them, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially our loved ones we remember this time. And for those who have died recently, and for those who have died due to coronavirus, especially for those who have no one to pray for them. And also for the repose of the souls of Clarence and Daisy Ayers. May they find eternal rest in the loving arms of God. We pray to the Lord. And let us not pray for our own intentions in silence. We also pray for the, the intentions of the Rice and Castillo families. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Father, on this great feast of the visitation, we recognize Mary as our mother and our model of discipleship. Hear our prayers this day and answer them in your faithfulness and mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> may our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the, in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, 
his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Clarence and Daisy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter Claver, St. Elizabeth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us in the live streaming, let us now pray the act of spiritual communion. And anyone here who is not able to receive, you may join with me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
least a tenth. Let us pray. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful, and as St. John the Baptist leapt for joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your loving presence, and let us continue to pray for each other, for our safety, and for the end of this coronavirus, and hopefully it will end soon. And thanks again for our volunteers, for our tech team, to be able to reach out to our domestic churches, in your homes, and uh, hopefully we'll continue with this. But certainly, you're welcome now to join us in person for Masses on Sunday. And uh, as I said, if you are able to make it to eat outside in restaurants and go to shopping malls and centers, uh, certainly this is a safe place as well to come on Sunday for our Sunday obligation. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.